Hey guys, it's me, the Don Fanatic, and welcome to week one of the D League of the GBA. Um, first of all, apologies, this game is on showdown, and we had like two or three connection issues, um, as well as a Jenning issue, so it took like half an hour for us to actually get around to trying to play. Um, and the one time it actually worked, we DC'd after I clicked my first move. So, um, due to time zones, he's Australia, I'm UK. That Imagine the difficulty in trying to actually organise a game between you in the first place. Um, and my sort of work commitments and his whatever commitments. Um, we, we just decided to hop on showdown while we had the chance and have the game on there. So, uh, next week, hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll get back to the Wi-Fi ways. Um, I do prefer Wi-Fi myself, so um, sad to see it on showdown, but... Also, um, it's a really good looking game on paper here, as you can see. Um, that was my hand on my desk, that really hurt. Um, if you haven't seen my draft analysis already, I would recommend you check it out. Um, not sure if I, we have to do team builders or not. I'll try and do one purely because it's the D-League and I know most other people probably do it. Um, but quick recap of my team. We have got Volcarona, Grassinium Z with the Flamethrower, Quiver Dance, Giga Drain and Psychic. Um, next up we have the Lopanita Outspeed, uh, a Crobat, which he didn't bring, which I'm very surprised by. Um, with the power up punch return quick attack and high jump kick um, the Registeel um, with the uh, it's max defense Registeel with stealth rocks toxic shadow claw and iron head uh, next up we have kind of like a speedy bulky lassie ass um, with defog toxic psychic and um, roost very risky, uh, I know knowing that he could have had the Jirachi, but I do have ways of dealing with it. Um, next up is the Staraptor Choice Scarf, uh, obviously Reckless Brave Bird, Double Edge U-Turn Close Combat. And finally we have got a Max Defense Glove Fable because it was one of our very few things that can actually, I say take in inverted comments here, uh, hits from Mamo Swine and the Embor. Um, obviously Latias potentially taking on the Embor a bit better as well but again it's an embor it does embor things it's stupid powerful um so we're gonna go over abe's draft really quick um it's quite a fast scary draft uh, i'll give you that i do have the lock which kind of limits his speed option um forced him to bring a really fast scarfer which um thankfully uh, it doesn't look like he would have really bought unless he bought scarf the lowland persian which just wouldn't make any kind of sense um, he has got Jirachi, Mamoswine, Crobat, Mega Beedrill, Primarina, Miltank, Rotom, uh, normal Rotom, so Rotom Spook as he called it, Persian Alola, um, Como O, Embor, Superior, uh, Persian Alola and Como O are the potential Z-Move users. Um, looking at the, like his build, um, I was very much expecting the Como O to be the Z-Move user because otherwise he might struggle to take out Clef um, other than the Beedrill. Uh, if I was the Kebia Berry, then he literally really would have a hard time taking me out. Um, all I really need to win is get Stealth Rocks up um, uh, and keep Stealth Rocks off my side. So we'll see how that goes. But that was kind of my game plan. Um, Volcarona is definitely a spooky bird. Well, we're going to go over it as a bird because it's Siggy. Um, it's definitely a scary bug um, to, to his team. Like he, he has very little for it if you look. Um, potentially nothing for it depending on how set up I can get. Um, my potential setup opportunity is basically the, the, the Persian. Um, he can, sure he can, um, what's it called? I've forgotten the name of the Parting Shot, that's the one. Parting Shot out and, and lower my special attack, but if he put me down to neutral, I'm pretty much two shotting everything on his team anyway, so that's absolutely fine by me. Um, so that's pretty much how we've lined up. Um, looking at his team, I was very much expecting, like I said, the Z move, um, Como O. The Mamo is his only rocker on his team that he's bought, so I'm expecting that to be some kind of potential sash set. Definitely not choiced. Primarina, um, looking at the calcs, is probably going to be uh, very physically bulky because it takes on Lopany decently well. Um, and uh, that would pretty much be his only kind of check to it if, if you look. Um, potentially the Como O if he's defensive on that as well. Um, so let's just get into the game. Um, it was a good game, I'll give you that, it's a fast paced game, I think it only lasts about uh, 25 turns, something like that, so very fast paced offensive game, but we'll get into it, um, I'll try and pause it and obviously give you guys some insight as, as to what is going on sort of at the time. So I lead off with Staraptor and this is where we disconnected on Wi-Fi, I'm obviously not going to stay in fearing a potential Ice Beam, um, so I'm just going to go out into Clef. Now if I'd have actually just clicked Brave Bird, um, I think I could have potentially lived surf and obviously done massive damage to this thing and forced him to, to make plays basically 
Um, but I'm going to stay in the Moonlight because I need Clef as healthy as possible to live any potential setup moves from um, the Como O. Oh. Um, I also know that I want this Mammoth Mine gone because if you look at my team, it deals with my team disgustingly well, uh, and I don't like that. So um, I actually bought Knockoff, remember, on my Clef. Um, and it didn't really matter in this case because uh, obviously he was Sash, so it's kind of pointless. I uh, could have just gone for another Moonlight, uh, not Moonlight, sorry, Moonblast. Or Moonlight, Moonlight would have probably been a good play as well at that point, just get myself back up to max HP. Um, but I want the damage off in this thing because the, the easier it is for me to kill with um, Lopany Quick Attack or just, I don't know, something like Volcarona or potentially Registeel as well, uh, the better. So um, he reveals Ice Cold Spear here, so I don't know if he was uh, expecting sub on something, um, uh, otherwise I don't really know why he bought it over Ice School Crash, but he bought Ice School Spear and thankfully, I, I mean I saw this and I was like, oh no he's going to get 5 hits and, and probably crit me with the last one, but he doesn't, so uh, I Moonlight up and um, I actually get more HP back, so he realises this he's going to switch, he doesn't have the Iron Head, but I have the Bibiri Berry anyway. Um, at this point I should have really thought, I mean I, in my head I thought he was going to U-turn, and I could have stayed in and clicked Moonblast, because if you look at his team, he doesn't really have anything that appreciates a Moonblast. Um, I mean, Pre-Marina will, just because, like, because of its natural bulk, but, um, it, you know, any kind of chip damage on that Pre-Marina, uh, the better. Because if I can take it out with um, Staraptor or the Lopunny, uh, I'll be looking pretty, um, because that is one of the few things that is kind of stopping Lopunny. Um, so, I really want that gone. But I do decide to switch out here into Registeel, because Registeel is my check to to be drill. Um, so uh, what I should have done at this point is, um, I, well he does U-turn like I thought he would but I, I didn't have the balls to make the play sort of turn 7 of the first game of the season. Um, he brings in the end ball and I'm pretty confident I'm up, I should be able to live like a hit. Um, I'm max defense but I'm going to switch out into my Latias. Um, I'm max HP. If I was max defense, um, which I did consider bringing, I would have been able to take this thing on much easier. Um, but sadly I couldn't. And here I'm going to click the default because I want these rocks gone, obviously so Volcarona has the best opportunity I can. And also, um, I, this time I was man enough to actually predict the parting shot. Um, if he had foul play, then I don't think it would have killed me because I am minus attack nature, um, obviously zero IVs. And if he had Dark Pulse, I could probably live because I've got special defense investment, and max HP, and it's um, a load of Persian, it's not the most uh, offensive thing ever. Um, so uh, what I should have done here is, is probably click Roost, but actually what um, what actually happens here is also quite good for me, um, because I've mentioned that I want chip damage off on the pre Arena before, <coughs> excuse me, um, I do actually land the Toxic. Now, I obviously don't want to stay in against this thing. I could have probably scouted to see how much a Moonblast would do to me. I'm pretty confident at this point. It's definitely max HP. Um, it's probably got some funky defense slash um, defense slash special attack investment to do as much damage as possible. Because Pre Marine has got a huge special attack stat. Um, and I bring in Registeel and he brings in the Mammo, which was nice. So, um, as you can see, he just gets Stealth Rocks up. Um, I really, really, really wish I had got my Stealth Rocks up at this point because. I'm looking at his team, and again, the only sort of real chance I have to set up Stealth Rocks is um, the Coma, no, sorry, not the Coma, uh, the Persian, and potentially the Pre Marina, but even then, I think Surf will be doing a lot of damage. So, um, if I'd have got my Rocks up that turn, he's got no removal at all. And knowing that, if I could have got to plus one with uh, Lopni at any point, the B is gone. Looking at his team, most of his team will be gone. Um, so all I need to do is get rocks up, bring Lopney in on the Alolan Persian, and, and try and just power up punch my way to oblivion. Um, I go into Latias here. Um, I was expecting a fighting move, but he sets up to plus one. I'm not too scared, but what I should have done there. Um, actually, no, sorry, no, I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, I do make the play into the Fable. Now, um, in game, I was thinking, right, okay, I have the Kevia Berry. I'm going to be able to live this easily, and I'm unaware, so I'm going to ignore the stat boost, so this should do nothing. Now, what I forgot was, in prep, I actually gave this thing the Babiri Berry. Now, the fact that, you know, if this was going to kill my Clef, um, then so be it. I have Staraptor. I can click Brave Bird if I have to, to avert the threat. But, every time this Como -O comes in on Registeel, um, he has a free chance to actually just set up a Dragon Dance, and... I mean, most things on my team, actually, and, and that's not what I want. Um, so I have to stay in here, and it's actually a roll, thanks to... Because I'm unaware, if I was Magic Guard, I'm dead at this point, but because I'm unaware, and I had to bring unaware, because he did have these uh, superior, 
I have a chance of living the acid downpour now. Um, as you can see here, he does go for the acid downpour, and I live on three. Thankfully, the Moonblast does take this thing out, and that is a huge threat gone. Now, when that thing died, I felt a lot better about myself uh, and about my chances in this game on 6-4 up. However, it doesn't mean he's out of this at all. Um, B still does a huge amount of work to my team, and I don't have rocks up, which is what I need. Um, I'm not expecting him to click Poison Jab this turn. That would be silly because he knows U-Turn will kill me. Um, he could also go for some flat X-Scissor. I, I mean, U-Turn is probably the one he's going to go for. <coughs> expecting to have Drill Run because it does hit the Reggie Steel. Um, and probably Knock Off because um, I, I didn't see it on Mamo. Um, I don't think anything else in his draft gets it. Or in his team, sorry, so I would expect it to have Knock Off. He could potentially have like the, the Defog on this thing. Um, which isn't unheard of, but you know, if he takes one round of stealth rock damage and then de defogs, that's fine by me. Um, but I'm pretty much expecting him to go for U-turn here, so I'm just going to sack this thing off because I don't want to go into Reggie Steel because it invites in the Embor. Um, although in hindsight, it could have been a good play because I would have been able to get my rocks up um, and uh, and potentially KO that thing sort of revenge-wise. But I haven't seen the full set on the Embor yet, so um, I don't risk it. I let him U-turn. And uh, it takes me out. So he does actually bring in the Alolan Persian. And I'm looking at his team and I'm like, right, this is my chance to get any kind of setup going. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> this is so professional of me. Um, Obviously, I'm expecting him to potentially go for the parting shot. That's fine. I'll be at plus one. Um, and then I will also be at plus one speed. And then I'm pretty sure I can just Giga Drain the Pre-Marine if he goes into that. And I'll live any hit because of the, the natural bulk of this thing and the plus one special defense. Um, obviously, if he doesn't parting shot, um, uh, when I do click it, um, I'm not sure if he's Dark Pulse or Foul Play at this point. In my head, he was Dark Pulse, completely forgetting the fact that Dark Play existed. Not Dark Play, Foul Play existed. Um, you know, um, I, I decided that you know this is my best chance to set up because otherwise b is going to outspeed me. Uh, Embor, I can't set up on that thing. Pre-Marine obviously is super effective against me, so this was my best chance to get something going. Um, so he doesn't reveal the fake out, which we haven't seen yet. And uh, the fact that I don't get the burn is is uh, quite annoying, and it actually does play a little bit of the game, uh, play a little bit in the outcome of the game. Um, but he does go into the Embor. If I was a man and a click Psychic twice, um, I may have potentially been able to get uh, a two hit on this thing, but I reveal Psychic here, he reveals the Sucker Punch. Now, what I should have done here, that this is a huge misplay, this is what turned the game. Um, I should have left Volcarona in to actually just um, die, effectively. Um, I was thinking, you know, I can use this as a chance to defog. At this point in my head, I'm thinking he's choiced. Um, I don't know why I thought that, because in prep I considered it and I was like, actually, no, it's, there's no point in bringing choice because, um, uh, you know, if he locks himself into something, Reggie still can potentially come in if he likes Wild Charge or something for the Staraptor or anything else I could bring. Um, you know, Sucker Punch, which, you know, in this case he has got, I figured he might have locked himself into that something. Okay, go into Latias and Defog. Um, what I should have done is probably click the Psychic, forcing some kind of switch. Um, but me, thinking that he's choiced, obviously I'm going to click Defog here, um, or Roost, Roost would have potentially been good as well, um, because I'm thinking he's choiced. Now, um, as you'll see, he's actually Flame Charge, and he outspeeds me. Um, no he doesn't, that's just me being silly because I switched in, duh. Um, but he gets two Flame Charges off, um, and I don't know if that crit mattered, no it didn't, definitely didn't. So I'm now going into Registeel thinking, this is my only way, like only thing that can live, and he goes for Brick Break and it does nothing. I'm going to have Shadow Claw because it's the best thing I've got for this. I bought Shadow Claw purely because otherwise Jirachi and the Rotom could just set up subs on me all day every day. I don't want to run behind a sub because it could just sit there spamming Will-O-Wisp. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and I really didn't want that um, and the Jirachi as well. So I'm like, okay, another Shadow Claw will kill it. Um, if he wants to go for Flare Blitz, that's fine. He'll take me down, um, but obviously uh, it, it'll take himself down as well. What I probably should have done at this point is go into the um, Volcarona, sacked it off, and then um, gone into something like my Lopany to take it out with the quick attack. That would have been ideal, um, but for some reason I actually stay in. And at the time I didn't even realise this was a bad play, but again, looking back at this, that is a pretty bad play. Um, I had Death Fodder there in, in Volcarona, and that would have been perfect. 
I would have had a chance to set up uh, my Mega Evolution, click Quick Attack, take this thing out, um, and you know, um, I, I could actually, turn, it turns out, live any hit from either the B or the, uh, the what's it called, the, the cat. Um, because of that, that misplay there, that pretty much seals my fate. Um, I'll tell you why in a minute. I, I've effectively got two versus three. Because I have Volcarona, I do get to actually kind of get a switch initiative here. Um, uh, so that's quite nice, I guess. I have to go into Staraptor because Moonblast will kill Lop. Um, and I, I kind of need um, Lop to win, purely because I can mix up moves. Because I'm Scarfed on this thing, I can't actually play around. I just have to click Brave Bird. He switches into something, that's fine. Um, I, ideally, I'd like him to sack off the Beedrill, but I know that won't happen. Um, I need him to keep the Alolan Persian alive, so I don't want him to bring that in. So, my best option here is, uh, you know, just click Brave Bird. Hope it does a lot of damage. It does, it is 68%, so not sure if it was defense, as defensive as I thought, and just U turn did little damage. Um, and he kills me with the Moonblast, which was to be expected. So, because of the damage he's at, I. I I think Moonblast, if he wasn't invested, Moonblast would be a roll, because um, I have a little bit of HP investment. I have got Power Up Punch, and if I had clicked Power Up Punch here, um, and Moonblast didn't take me out, he would have just gone out and faked out with the um, Persian. So here I have to click Return to at least get a kill. Um, and it's now 2 versus 1. <coughs> the B comes in. Now, if I had Stealth Rocks up, um, I could have Quick Attacked here. It wouldn't have taken it out. But it would have meant it would have died to the next Stealth Rock switching, guaranteed, if he had no HP investment, um, other than the standard 4 EVs. Um, because of, because of obviously, of, of what's happened, and I didn't get Stealth Rocks up, I should have got Stealth Rocks up, because I did see he had no hazard removal, and I definitely had ways of winning other than Volcarona, but, because I didn't have them up, I can't make that play. If I did actually get them up, I would have actually think about it, would have rather gone for Power Up Punch, because Poison Jab won't take me out unless he gets the Poison. Uh, it turns out he wasn't max attack investment in this anyway. And his um, his Persian was actually a minus attack nature because things uh, spoilers he has foul play. Um, so the potential of his spread, uh, poison jab and fake out, I have a chance of living. Um, I didn't know that obviously at the time because I've had the discussion with Abe afterwards. So he actually clicks U turn here. He thought about it long and hard because he knew his investment he couldn't kill me with poison jab unless he crits me. Or he gets the poison. Um, so he's going to switch into that thing. And I hear, I just click power up punch. Because it's the only way I have of winning. If he stayed in and clicked poison jab there. And I live quite comfortably. And then obviously I did get the, the plus one. Quick attack would then kill. Potentially. Uh, 75 to 88% or something. And I'm pretty sure power up punch to mega B. Which is so frail would have just killed it. Um, but he does obviously go for the fake out. I'm at plus one attack. I have to go for another power up punch if I want to win. Purely because I need to be at plus two to one shot the B, and this is where he reveals the foul play. If he was, I had it in my head that he had Dark Pulse. Um, I don't know why. I just kind of forgot it even got foul play. It's bad. I know. I've played so much League game or so much League sort of you know battles at this point. Um, I don't see foul play bought too often against me to be honest. Um, and I just kind of blanked there. But my only way of winning at that point was getting to plus two because Quick Attack would then kill the B, um, depending on any defensive investment. Um, but that was a really good game, Abe. Uh, very close game. Um, if obviously I'd got my rocks up, could have potentially taken the win. Um, I wouldn't have had to have set up another power up punch, and at that point I might—I have, I don't I haven't done the couch to be honest, but I might have been able to live another foul play purely because um, lots and sort of natural bulk and, and the weakness of a lowland Persian. But never mind, it was a really good game. Um, hopefully you guys did enjoy. Sorry if, uh, about the coughing. Um, I've had like a chesty cough for ages, so I, I should probably get that checked out. Um, but that was a really good game. Hey, obviously, check out the links to all of the GBA coaches below, or D-League coaches below. Um, next week, I don't even know who we're up against. Um, I'll, I'll put it in the description somewhere because I'm, I'm like too lazy to actually check. Um, I will um, obviously let you know that. And I'm rambling now. So thank you for watching this video, guys. Make sure you check out all the GBA D-League coaches and the GBA Twitter and uh, Discord and all that jazz. Um, and I'll see you for week two uh, next Sunday. Bye!